Hello, and brace yourself for another week of fridge cam. Yeah, I literally cannot believe that this happens. I think Jamie's screw is part Why? It's proper burning. It's not proper. Uh oh. And some of this happens. Mm. That's steaming, succulent, and flavoursome. And now I'm going to talk to the other camera. But first, we need to find out what our mystery theme is with our mystery box. Let's go get James. You know that song Lean On Me by Bill Withers? Yep. Don't. You guys know the deal by now. Thanks to our poor prop budget, we have a box precariously hanging above our heads. And in that box is a mystery ingredient. That mystery ingredient is a hint towards this week's theme. When we know that theme, over here, then we're going to ask you guys what to do with that theme and create some amazing recipes. But how do we find out what's in the box? Well, the box is attached to a piece of rope and that piece of rope is attached to James Curry's hands. In a second, he's going to lower the box, we'll look in the box and that will be what... Well, that's it, really. And James yeah. will remain happy throughout. Lower the box, James. I feel like the lowering of the boxes have become a lot less epic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what we do have, though... Oh. That is rice. That's that also is. rice. Rice? Rice. 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 More rice. 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 Right, guys, I don't know about you, but <laughs> my instincts <laughs> lead me to deduce that it is rice week. It's rice week. James? Yes, it is rice week, and we're going to learn about the cultures that use rice and different types of rice. And we're going to learn enough so that Ben and I can perhaps answer some ricey questions. Oh, oh, oh ricey questions. Ricey questions. Ricey questions. Right, ricey questions. <laughs> and then at the end of the week, you guys are going to be in a burrito battle because burritos have rice in them. Oh, they do? Well, that Most is a of tenuous link. <laughs> awesome. I'm going to make one that weighs the same amount as a small child. Brownie you know points at steak, so make it taste good as well. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. We've had your feedback, and you've told us to make onigiri. These are Japanese rice balls, and we're not just stopping there. We're doing two different flavours, soy salmon and chilli mushroom. You didn't seem too sure yeah, then. You seem quite pause. unconfident. No, I was so passionate about it. Oh, I want sorry, a pregnant pause. pause. Soy salmon and chilli mushrooms, shiitake. The soy starts with a soy glaze, so we need to place soy sauce, brown sugar, half a chopped chilli, half lime juice, and some ginger, all put in a pan and reduced down to a syrup. While we wait for the soy to reduce, our second filling is gonna be the mushrooms. We have ourselves some shiitake mushrooms. We want to slice them pretty fine, and then we're gonna fry them in a super hot pan. Top tip, mushrooms are full of water. Too many people move mushrooms around in a pan too much. Let them colour before you try and move them and let too much water out because you want a nice browning. Once they're golden, then we can add in a little bit of chilli and some soy. That will reduce down and then we can chop it up. Oh, that umami smell. Oh, mummy, that tastes good. If you want to run a knife through that, we're yep. going to cut them up nice and small. In the meantime, a piece of salmon brushed with our soy syrup under the grill to grill. You guys said that grilled salmon was amazing filling, as you also said that savoury fillings are important. Initial thoughts? Distinct lack of rice. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Give us a chance! I'm thinking batter-wise, what this highlights from Cheese Week and from the beginning of Rice Week yeah. is that my limited palate also limits my success within the battles because I can't, I don't really like salmon. Sushi's not really my thing. Do you like sushi rice? Su sushi? Sushi. 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 Sushi rice is lovely fantastic. Girl. Lovely girl. Sushi rice, I could use that, yeah. but yeah, I'm heavily relying on probably the chef's table that I'm going to make sure that I'm in. Yeah. So I can ask you some questions. <laughs> but did you see how many comments came in when it came to like, what should we cook with rice? Mm. Yeah, there were loads of people saying sushi, but rice is in every corner of the world. Yeah. So I don't think you're going to have a problem. What you want to do is keep kind of basting it as you cook it so you get plenty of that soy flavour. So you want the flavour to be like really intense within the fish or the mushrooms because it kind of spreads out in amongst the rice. Yeah, that kind of intense. <coughs> and that's what we're looking for. Obviously that's one big bit of salmon. We now need to flake it up so it's a similar size to our mushrooms. Then there's two fillings ready to go. Now on to the star of the show, 
the rice. So this is sushi rice, which means it's short grain, it's plump, it's starchy, but we're not going to make sushi with it. Common misconception, onigiri is not sushi. What, sorry, okay, what defines sushi is sushi then? The pickling bit. So you know we always put a little bit of sugar and rice wine vinegar in it to flavour it? Yeah. This is just cooked in salt water. First we need to soak it. So into the water. When I'm at home, I don't soak most rices. But if I'm cooking with sushi rice, you have to. always. Give it a good 20 minutes, refresh the water every so often and you end up with this. Washed sushi rice. This now goes into a pan with a very exact amount of water. You can get the full weights and measurements downstairs. Put a lid on, heat it up very, very gently and leave it to simmer for about eight or 10 minutes and take it off the heat and leave it for the same again. The only thing we're adding is a pinch of salt. When he said downstairs, he means uh, sortedfood.com. Hey, do you want to hear some more things about rice? Done, done. <laughs> Due to overwhelming popular demand. Did you know that onigiri is a bit like what we would call a sandwich? So it could be eaten on the go, for lunch, and it can have any filling that you want. And, did you know, that because it's wrapped in nori, which is a sheet of dried seaweed, it's not messy or sticky. Which probably means I wouldn't get along with it that well. By the way, are you still going to try and use two pieces to make a sandwich? Yeah, well, yeah, because that, I mean, that's just the bread, isn't it? So you need, the, you need some filling in the middle. Did you know there's an art to opening a store-bought onigiri? It's like onigiri origami, because the moment know, the seaweed touches the rice, it starts to go soggy. Look, you have to do it like this. Are they your hands? Nice nails. Yeah. You've been for a pedicure, manicure. Manicure. Ma you've been for a manicure. Give it a couple of moments, softens with the rice, delicious. Did you know that onigiri can be art? Go on. Peace Loving Pax on Instagram is not only a doctor, but she's an artistic genius. Let me show you some of her work. Which one's the onigiri? Oh. I like that. That's a good, That's strong cool. work. Yeah. Do you reckon these still taste decent? Yeah, definitely. Whoa. I would say let's try and recreate some of these, but That's there's not a chance we can ever crazy. do that. Crazy. How about this? Ebbers, you'll like this one. <laughs> <laughs> this does go against everything that my mum always taught me about food, though. Never play with it. I can attest that Peace Loving Packs is well worth a follow on Instagram. I have to agree. I hope ours look half as decent. No pressure. The rice has been soaked, the rice has been boiled, the rice has rested in the pan to keep all of that steam in, and what you're left with are these gorgeous rice grains. That's what rice needs, respect. So Time much respect. and love and respect. Rice respect. No. At this point, we're gonna add in toasted sesame seeds into all of the rice. If you were making sushi, it's at this point you'd add your vinegar mm -hmm. and a uh, reduction of, sort of salt and vinegar and sugar. Try to use the flattest paddle you can find. It will just save you from breaking up too many of those rice grains. While it's warm, you can now flavour the rice. We're going to divide it by three because we've got three amazing flavours. You can do whatever you want. One is going to be our soy mushroom, one is going to be our salmon, and we've just come up with a brand new one using these fantastic flying fish roe. This one is the flavour of, what was it? Yuzu. 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 Yuzu, which is what? That's, that's, that's the, 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 like lemon, isn't it? Japanese citrus fruit. It's so good, that. And then we've got a wasabi one, and... Orange. Orange. These flying fish row are completely optional. You can leave it just at the mushroom and the salmon. That is equally delicious. Look at those colours. Once your mixtures have cooled, it's now time to shape them. You guys gave us loads of advice. Some of you said use gloves and oil them. It'll stop it from sticking. Some of you said use salt water. Well, let's find out what's best right now. I'll glove up. Oh, I'll go for the water. Then we're just going to wrap some seaweed around it and that will give you something to hold on to later on. But that looks delicious. That really does look delicious.
What we are left with is onigiri. Three different ways. Sorted. I love your work. Dive in. You've done a great job by the looks of it. But what about Get your face involved. Get your face involved. I'm guessing you're not going to go salmon. Do you want to go mushroom? just grab it. He's going salmon. These are great. <laughs> That's really good. And I love the pop from the fish row as well. That's really nice. Super satisfying because also it's quite dense. It's very filling. So just one of those on any journey you're making, or any packed lunch, and you are good. Mm. So I'm definitely thinking about a pork pie or a sausage roll wrapped in rice now. I think For this your is burrito battle. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe not, we'll see. We'll see, I'm not giving anything away. Super tasty and you can add your own flavours too if you want to give them a go. The recipe is available on sortedfood.com, link downstairs. How are you feeling about your chef's table tomorrow? Uh, I'm feeling good because I'm going to ask you a lot of questions that benefit myself for the battle at the end of the week. <laughs> Lots of rice-based stuff. Yep, looking forward to it. That is tomorrow. Make sure you tune in for that. See you then. Click on the left if you missed our last video or click on the right video for one of our favourites.